everyone, this is Sultan with the WP Funnels team. And in this video, I'll show you how you can create your first sales funnel using WP Funnels within WordPress in as low as 15 minutes. So let's get started. Now, as you can see, I already have the plugin installed and activated on my dashboard. Once you install and activate it, you're going to find the menu called WP Funnels on your dashboard menus. Okay, so click on it and it will take you to the overview page okay now this is where usually the funnels you create is listed you can see i've already created one earlier so it's listed here all right now before i start creating the funnel let me address one issue the fact is when you usually want to create a funnel what things come to your mind the first thing that comes to mind is funnel planning so you usually use one tool for that the second thing comes to mind is uh, designing the funnel uh, that might be using another tool and the third thing you decide is uh, how to uh, host this funnel or launch this funnel now you might end up using three to four different tools just to create one single funnel moreover most funnel builders out there require you at least 25 to 30 minutes to create the simplest of funnels okay now after you see this video you'll understand how wp funnels can help you create a sales funnel in less than 15 minutes and you don't have to use multiple external tools you can stay within WordPress and completely plan, build, design and execute your complete sales funnel right here. OK, now let me start creating the funnel. First, click on add new funnel. And once you do, this is going to give you a list of templates that we have researched uh, based on different niches so that uh, any niche you're at, you'll find a relative template which you can import and then just update it a bit to start uh, selling your products on the go. All right now you also have the option to start from scratch but uh i think you should do that once you are used to the plugin more and you would want to use a completely unique design all right now in this tutorial i'm gonna show you uh, how to create a funnel for an ebook that i'm gonna sell all right so you can see this is a template for ebook which is uh, pretty good if i click on this i can see the steps that it has and it is uh, pretty well designed all right so here I can change the name. Let's say I'm going to add design ebook and I'm going to click on import. And once I click on import, you'll see it started importing. And once it's imported, it's going to take you to the drag and drop canvas where you can start planning your funnels. Now I've already decided what product I want to sell using this funnel. So the first thing to do is to assign the product to this funnel. And to do that, you will need a checkout step. So here you can see I have the checkout step. Just click on that and click on configure and assign the product. OK, you'll see you'll be on the product tab by default. Just search for your product. And it will come in the search results. Click on this and click on add product. And you'll see that the product will be added. OK. Then click on save changes and this will be saved. So now I've assigned the product time to plan the funnel. All right. So now you can decide, do you want to keep it traditionally just landing page, checkout page and thank you? Or do you want to add upsell step or downsell step? Or do you want to add uh, an order bump after the checkout? All right. Whichever you want, you can plan here. OK, uh, so for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the basic steps. OK. So once you're done planning, the next thing to do is to design your funnel steps, right? The step pages. So first thing to do is to design the landing step. So let me just preview the landing step to see how it looks in the template. So there you go. This is the template we have created for ebook. And all you have to do is to change the content here and you're good to go. OK, so at this point, you've already uh, planned your funnel. The next thing to do is to sit down with your marketing team and decide on the content you want to use in the landing page or in the checkout page or in the thank you page. All right. So what you do is you save this, click on save and the funnel will be saved. OK, and then you can go ahead and start deciding on the content. All right. So let me just go back to the dashboard. Once you're done deciding your content, you can always come back to the plugin overview tab and edit the funnel that you were creating. So I'm editing it and you can start uh, working on this from where you left off. So now I have this uh, funnel uh, template 
uh, already imported and I have the content ready. And just for this video, I've also created some uh, content. Okay, you can see. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna select the landing page and edit this. And there, I just have to replace the content with the appropriate text and images for my product, okay? And as you can see, it's opening in the Elementor edit mode because my preferred page builder is Elementor. Okay, so now let me just start inputting the text where it's appropriate. So for example, this is the title I've decided for this page. And let's say I want to call this uh, design thinking. I want to give the name of my book here. Okay, and now to input text for the rest of the points. So it's as simple as this, you know, once you uh, have the template imported and you have the content ready, all you'll be doing is copying and pasting the content into the template and your funnel will be ready to go. Okay, and all in all, it doesn't take too long to copy and paste. So all together, you'll be spending as low as 15 minutes just to uh, create the funnel. So there you go, the first section is ready. Now this image is basically the product image. Uh, you'll be using your own product image here because you have your own unique ebook. Again, the text should be for your own product, okay? And this button is basically one of our widgets, which is the WP Funnels Next Step button. All right, let me show you. If you go to the widget section and scroll down, you'll find there's the next step button widget, all right? So if I click on this widget, I can configure this. You click on next step button content. Here, you can change the text on the button if you want to, but I think get the book is appropriate for ebook, all right? If you want to change the style, you can go to the style section and use the default typography editing options in Elementor. To change the color and text or the font for this button. All right, same goes for all the sections in this template. This whole template is created using Elementor. All right, let me move on to the second section and I have prepared content for that as well. There you go. And I've also created things over there. There you go. Now, this one looks a bit uh, unaligned. Let me just change this word. Rather than writing unmatched, I'll write great. And there you go, now it looks pretty much good, All right? So now let's move on to the next section. And here you can see, this is a section where we want you to provide a free chapter for your users to read. So usually you can use a short code here to input a form where people can input their email and collect the free chapter. But I don't have the short code ready. I'm gonna do something different here. I'm gonna let them download it for free. So let me just remove this section and I'm gonna add a text editor over here and I'm gonna use uh, this content, download chapter one, the art of design thinking. There we go. And I'm gonna link it to the PDF file which they can just click to download right away. There you go. And you can see these are very congested. I can change the typography same as in Elementor. Uh, I'll just go to advanced and I'll just add a top margin of 20. There you go. Now the next section is about the author. I'm just gonna change this to my name. Well, I didn't write this book. I'm just gonna change it for this tutorial, all right? Uh, I, I, I didn't write any book yet myself, but I will pretty soon. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put some information about the author. Uh, over there so it's a quotation from the author which I can include there you go 
and uh, I'm just gonna add some French over here okay oh don't don't get me wrong I don't know French I just used Google Translate there all right uh, now this is an image where you can add the signature of the author and these are areas where you can include your social links so over here you can click on each of them and include your social link if you don't want to keep one of the icons you can always remove that and you can add more by clicking here all right so now let me scroll down to the next section this is the section for feedback if you have content where people have given you feedback or uh, there are you know famous magazines that sponsored you you can include them here all right so if you have the content all you'll be doing is preparing it in one document when you have decided the content with the marketing team and we'll just be copying it and pasting in this sections all right now if i scroll down to the last part which is the call to action part i've decided i'm just gonna use a different call to action instead of saying get it now i'm gonna say get your copy now and i'm just gonna add a little bit of text over here Right. and that's it so and uh, now you can change the image to your own product uh, what you do is you select this image and over here on the widget area just click on this it's going to take you to the library or you can upload a file and use that as the image as you can see you can change the product image here again on the first section and you can also change the author's image here also, you see this section here, these images, these are our custom images we created. If you want, you can change them as well. So this is completely customizable, all right? So let me click on update. And this landing page is saved. Now I'll go back to the canvas and it's time to view this landing page. I'll click on view. And you can see the landing page is loaded with the content I included, all right? And it actually looks pretty good, all right? Now, the next thing to do is to design your checkout page. Uh, it's the same thing. You can click on the edit button and it will open uh, in the Elementor edit mode, all right? And there you go, the checkout page is loaded. So this is where you can input some text. Uh, I haven't prepared separate text. I plan that I'll use this text over there. And there you go. Let me just paste that text over there. And there you go. Okay. Now, the form you're seeing here is actually not the default checkout form from WooCommerce. This is basically one of our widgets with which we call that form because we allow you to customize this form. All right. Uh, now, you can see here I can choose if it's a single column checkout or double column checkout. And if the order bump is enabled, I can configure it from here. Right now, I did not enable the order bump because I didn't need it for this funnel. But in future, I'll show you in videos how to use this, all right? And just to show you how this widget looks like, this is how it looks like under WP Funnels. You'll see is the checkout widget, all right? Now, let me just update this and my checkout page will be saved. The next thing to do is to edit the thank you page. Let me just edit that. And again, it's going to open in Elementor Edit and you see this is the thank you page you can change this text if you want to and this is basically the widget for thank you page let me just keep it as it is this text is pretty good all right now my funnel is ready i'm going to click on save and i can start using this funnel right away so let me just preview this by clicking on this button and there you go uh, this is the landing page of the funnel. If I click on this, it's going to take me to the checkout page. There you go. You can see I'm on the checkout page. And if I scroll down, you can see this is the product that I assigned as the product for which I want to use the funnel. Remember in the beginning, I added it to the checkout step. All right. So this funnel is now dedicated for this uh, product. Okay. Now I can choose my payment option. I haven't enabled anything else yet but uh, WP Funnels is fully compatible with PayPal and Stripe and uh, you can have other payment methods as well. So at that time when you have those enabled, they will appear over here, okay? Let me click on place order. And there you go. You can see my order has been processed and uh, I'm on the thank you page. So that's it. That's how easy it is to create funnels. You can just go back 
and now you can copy the link of this funnel and start promoting it okay so as you saw i have created this funnel in less than 15 minutes but obviously this video is a bit longer because i spoke a lot in between to guide you through many things but don't worry if you still have a lot of questions uh, i'll be creating more videos to explain each and every features of this whole plugin so that uh, in future if you get stuck in any one place you'll always be able to get a guide all right so that's it you have created your first funnel the next thing to do is to learn to improve this funnel or start creating more advanced funnel using our detailed guides all right so thank you for watching that's it for this video i'll see you in one of my future videos take care